If you've ever walked into a grocery store or a taco shop and spotted a tall glass bottle of Coke labeled Hecho en Mexico, you might have thought, why does this taste so much better than the Coke I'm used to? You're not alone. Mexican Coke has a cult following, and for many people it feels smoother, more flavorful, and somehow more authentic. But why? Is it just in our heads, or is there something real behind the hype? Let's break it down, right here, on History of Simple Things. The most widely accepted reason Mexican Coke tastes different comes down to one main ingredient, the sweetener. In the U.S., most Coca-Cola is made with high-fructose corn syrup, HFCS, instead of regular cane sugar. This change happened in the 1980s when corn syrup became a cheaper alternative to imported sugar. It was an economic decision, not a flavor one. Mexican Coke, on the other hand, is still made with cane sugar. And that's not just marketing talk. The ingredient list literally says azucar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Now, does sugar actually make a difference in flavor? For many people, yes. Cane sugar tends to give a cleaner, crisper sweetness, while HFCS can leave a slightly heavier, lingering sweetness in the mouth. Some describe HFCS Coke as having a faint syrupy aftertaste, while cane sugar Coke feels lighter and more refreshing. The difference isn't only about taste, it's also about how it feels when you drink it. High fructose corn syrup is made of both fructose and glucose, but the ratio and structure can subtly affect viscosity and the way your tongue perceives sweetness. Cane sugar, sucrose, breaks down differently when it hits your saliva, delivering sweetness in a quick, sharp burst. So, when you take a sip of Mexican Coke, that initial crisp sweetness is front-loaded and the finish is cleaner. With HFCS Coke, the sweetness can feel more prolonged, almost coating your mouth. That contrast can make the sugar version feel more refreshing especially if you're drinking it ice cold on a hot day. Okay, here's something a lot of fans overlook. The container matters. Mexican Coke almost always comes in thick glass bottles. Regular American Coke is often sold in plastic bottles or aluminum cans. And yes, science says this affects flavor. Glass is completely inert. It doesn't react with the drink at all. That means what you taste is pure Coke, untouched by the container. Plastic bottles, especially over time, can let tiny amounts of gas escape, causing the soda to lose a bit of its fizz. They can also absorb odors from their surroundings, which can subtly influence taste. Aluminum cans are lined with a polymer coating to keep the soda from tasting metallic but that lining can still interact with the beverage, especially if it's stored for a long time. With glass bottles, you get maximum carbonation and zero outside interference. More bubbles mean more aroma release, and aroma is a huge part of flavor perception. That extra fizz makes Mexican Coke feel sharper and more satisfying when it hits your tongue. Here's something a little more psychological. How we experience the drink. Mexican Coke is almost always served ice cold, straight from a cooler in that heavy glass bottle. You pop the cap with a bottle opener, hear that crisp fizzle, and immediately take a sip. That ritual adds to the enjoyment. Regular Coke in the U.S. might be grabbed in a plastic bottle that's been sitting on a shelf for weeks. It's convenient but it doesn't carry the same moment of anticipation. Studies in sensory science have shown that the way we interact with food and drink, including sound, touch, and visual cues, can influence our perception of taste. That cold glass bottle in your hand, it's part of the magic. We also can't ignore the role of the mind here. 
Part of why people believe Mexican Coke tastes better might come from expectation and nostalgia. If you've heard people rave about it, you might already expect it to taste special, which primes your brain to enjoy it more. This is called the placebo effect in flavor perception. For some, drinking Mexican Coke might also connect to memories. Maybe it reminds them of traveling, childhood family gatherings, or enjoying tacos at a street market. Emotional associations can actually change the way our brains interpret flavors. If sugar Coke tastes better to many people, why doesn't Coca-Cola just switch back in the U.S.? Simple. Cost and supply. Import tariffs make cane sugar more expensive in the U.S., and high fructose corn syrup is plentiful and cheap because of domestic corn production subsidies. Switching back to sugar would raise costs, and big companies usually avoid that unless there's a massive demand shift. However, every year around Passover, Coca-Cola in the U.S. temporarily makes a version with real sugar to meet dietary restrictions for observant Jewish customers. Some Coke fans stock up on it during that time for the same reason they buy Mexican Coke. There's also a marketing element. Mexican Coke has become a specialty item in many parts of the U.S. You can't always find it in every store, so it feels rare and worth seeking out. Scarcity can make a product seem more valuable, and that perceived value can make it taste better to us. Restaurants sometimes highlight it on menus, pairing it with authentic Mexican food. That association, real tacos, real Coke, builds into the authentic experience narrative that people love. If you put Mexican Coke and U.S. Coke in a blind taste test, some people will swear they can tell the difference every time. And many actually can. Others might struggle to notice any difference at all. So yes, there's science to back up the claim. The sugar versus HFCS difference, the glass bottle factor, carbonation, and even minor water composition changes all play a role. But just as much of the better taste comes from psychology, memory, and the overall experience of drinking it. If you've never had Mexican Coke, it's worth hunting down at least once. You'll get that crisp glass bottle pop, the sharper sweetness of cane sugar, and maybe even a little nostalgia for a time or place you've never actually been to. At the end of the day, whether it's better is subjective, but if a drink makes you smile and turns a moment into something memorable, that's reason enough to enjoy it. Sometimes taste isn't just about chemistry, it's about the story we tell ourselves, the ritual we enjoy, and the way a small detail, like a glass bottle from across the border, can turn an everyday drink into a little celebration. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.